Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Lori. Today I have a rant. A lighthearted rant, but a rant nonetheless. So let's go. So today I did a Google search to kind of look into any new petite trends for 2023. So my search came up and the very first article I came to was a article specific to petites and the five trends to try in 2023. It was the only one that came up that was specific to petites. The article read five fashion trends every short gal should try in 2023. So I think, great, let's dive in and see what the trends are for petite gals in 2023. And then I saw this. Really all like, what the actual hell is this? A blanket off my couch? First of all, do these women look like a short gal? Does this scream fresh and modern for the everyday woman? <laughs> There's nothing defining the waist. It's a blanket sack. <laughs> Don't understand. Like, no. No, I'm not trying this trend. Uh, no. So moving on, I went to the second look, and this is what I saw. Ugh. <laughs> I can't. I can't. So again, do these women look like a short gal? No, they don't. Are they assuming every short gal is flat chested, wants to show their midriff, has a flat tummy? Because when you say every short gal should try, I'm thinking you're including every petite and short gal of every size and of every age. No, I don't want to walk around looking like a lemon or an orange with my midriff showing. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Okay, maybe you guys have a different perspective on this, but these two looks are just no. These are a no. Not happening. No. Moving on, because clearly I should have given up by now, but I kept going. So then we came to this. Okay, I'm not mad at a long skirt. Not at all. Now a denim skirt and this picture that they're showing you that you're supposed to be inspired by on a petite gal, on a short gal. Okay, first of all, there's way too much fabric. This lady looks like she is completely overwhelmed by her clothes. They paired it with an oversized blazer and y'all know how I feel about an oversized blazer, okay? I am not inspired by this outfit whatsoever. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> you guys, I can't with this. Then we get to this. Okay. I like a puffer vest. I like a puffer jacket. I like a cropped puffer jacket. I'm not mad at that. What I'm mad at is this sloppy outfit put together that is supposed to be inspiring to me. It does not look polished. It does not represent by any means the majority of the people out there who are short or petite. And then the last one was this. I don't know. It's a long sweater jacket. I don't know. At this point, I've lost complete faith in whoever wrote this article. Did they know anything about an actual petite short gal? And I'm just saying, I'm taking a hard pass on every single one of them. Doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for you guys, and that is, that's great. You know, sound off with your opinions down below. Everybody deserves to have an opinion and that's great but for me hard pass no so in all fairness i did dig a little bit deeper into this article and the author of this article and she's coming from a perspective of street style 
However, how many short and petite gals is this article relevant to? I would definitely think there's way more short and petite gals out there that are looking for a practical, everyday ideas and solutions and outfits to try. Is this the most innovative ideas that we have for short gals for 2023? I don't get it. I don't get it. Where are the solutions for the real women out there? The real petite women who all aren't a size double zero or 23 years old with a flat chest and a, you know, a flat tummy and perfect body. This really missed the mark for me and I'm sorry I had to do this video because I just think it's really unfair. It's bad enough that we as petite women have so few choices, have so few stores that we can actually walk into and have a good range of pieces to choose from, then we're gonna put this out? It just is beyond me. I digress. I'm gonna get over it and move on. Another reason why I always say, do what works for you. There are no rules. And don't read this article, this garbage, and think you have to do that. You don't. So, now that I've gotten that off my chest, I would love to hear your comments below. I would love to hear how you guys feel about these pieces. Are there any that you're going to try? Let me know. Thank you for being here and letting me sound off on this article. I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.